Okay, in this video we're going to go over how to use a AC Delco touch-up paint kit because somebody bought a new truck and then decided to build a house with it and use it as a work truck and go pick stuff up with it all the time and then magically come back to the parking lot and see that somebody did this to my truck. So thankfully this one wasn't my ding, but I've done a few of my own, but uh, we're going to see if I can fix it today, or at least get it fairly fixed. Really, my biggest concern actually is just the rust. Maybe one of these days I'll just have to take the whole thing in and get this whole thing fixed. But anyways, we are going to use an AC Delco touch-up pen with those, like, what is it, 4-in-1 kit, and it has been a long time since I've used anything like this, so if it looks bad you won't even be seeing this video. So first things first, what I've done is I have wiped it down with a little alcohol, basically get any potential grease or oil off of it. So this spot in general here is fairly clean. So let's get into it. All right, just to show you how this works real quick. So the top here, comes off right here and this is your reservoir for the paint like I said and then this is your brush basically the more manly version of nail polish I guess and the paint in this thing dries fairly quickly so once you start once you apply it with uh, like a, a you know full stroke over your needed to apply area the paint dries pretty quick so you don't have a lot of play with it um, this top right here is the pen, and all you do is you depress it down. See, the paint comes out. And the pen tip is so small that I don't really, I don't really see the, I don't really see the point of that. You, if you need to fill an area that tiny, but you depress the paint, and it comes out that fast, and this, that was upside down right so can you, you can imagine if you're doing it this way but that's a lot a lot of flow for little spots so if you do need to use that pen I would you know like I dabbed it on here I would put it on like a flat surface or just a piece of anything that's anything really and I would apply it from that way and then this is the reservoir for the clear coat and this is this is the reservoir for the clear coat is down here. So a little backwards compared to the paint, but this is the way you would do the clear coat. But as you can see, my my little foam brush here ripped off maybe the tenth stroke I did, and it is it's basically useless at this point. But that's how that's how this works, and then obviously this is just a this is just a scraper to like ceramic or something like that. I don't know. It's just very hard and you could chisel out more to have a, a more smooth painting surface. But I like the approach of applying paint and basically buffing your paint or sanding your paint afterwards rather than messing with your the actual the real auto body paint factory job so I would rather fix the paint that I put on rather than ruin more of the paint that's already on the vehicle okay so these tools here the pen the pen tip here in here where you depress it down and it shoots the paint out those still suck so I wouldn't recommend using that unless you have a, a super tiny spot and you do not apply the paint directly from the pen. You'd have to put it in a separate thing and dab it, then apply because this it just the the paint for that fine of a tip it's they don't match at all. The paint pours out of that thing, which is to be expected. Um, so basically, you're left with a brush, which is fine, and like, and I will just preface and say this still looks like crap, which is supposed to, and 
the biggest thing that I wanted to take care of was, like I said, I wanted to eliminate rust. I mean, this thing's still pretty new, and I plan on using the heck out of this truck for a while. Um, so I just don't, I don't want to have rust start earlier than it needs to. But like I said, this still looks like crap. Let's see if I back up. I mean, it, you can still totally see it, but the rust shouldn't be so bad. And what we need to do now is let that dry a little bit, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a little, I'm gonna give it a little rub, and I'm gonna see if I can kind of buff sand that out. I'll use, I'll, I'll see what I can come up with. But this is, this is creative works here. Like I said, I told, you know, I was telling people. All right, you know, I told a buddy that I was going to get one of these pens and see if I could fix fix the problem for what are these? 15 20 dollars versus this whole this whole quarter panel here would be you know, I don't even know. I don't even know. Everything's so expensive. Now, it'd probably be 3 400 bucks or something like that, but I've already fixed a couple issues elsewhere. I actually cracked that tail light. You can't even see it. It had like a hairline crack in it. I was cutting trees down and I got a little wild out there, but uh, anyway, so I'll, I'll figure out how to work on this and we'll get back to it. All right, now we're going to go to town on this thing with some Meguiar's Ultimate Compound and a buffing pad, and this is for a drill. I had some of these laying around. This is for a much more aggressive job than I want to do on this little spot, so we're going to do this by hand, but as soon as I feel like this is dry enough, we're gonna we're gonna rub this rubbing compound on like crazy and we will see if we can get rid of that I mean I, you know what it looks better I, like the crazy thing is I haven't even buffed this at all I kind of just put it on there with a brush M my goal is to stop the rust but honestly if you get this distance from it it already looks better than the scratches I mean it's a it's a solid black gloss black truck with and it had you know down to the sheet metal so it had that gray metal the contrast was quite noticeable but it already looks better with this crappy brush on paint and it'll stop from rusting as fast so we'll see if i can improve from here but i mean i guess it it didn't go so bad so far all right changed my mind we're gonna big dog it. We'll see what happens. All right, we've done a good run of rubbing compound with the drill with the pad on it. And I'm gonna wipe this off and we will see if that had any effect. Like I said, we're not, I mean, first of all, I don't think anybody should be buying these touch up pens if you want it to look like really good like this is a fix so it doesn't get worse okay okay you can still see it depending on your lighting and all that kind of stuff it definitely smoothed it out a little bit actually it's not so bad it, what it really needs is a little wet sand but you can get you gotta be careful with that on oh, such a big face too but let's see so you can feel a little elevation in it honestly I I might just run at it a little bit more with that buffer I can tell from loading bales in the back of this truck there's some fine scratch too so I guess the buffer will take care of that as well I don't know maybe I'll keep buffing a little bit I'll let you know in just a sec all right, so I buffed the crap out of it. I mean, I'm pretty aggressively pushing hard with this buff wheel here and the Meguiar's rubbing compound, and that actually smoothed the black paint out quite well. And then I quickly applied the clear coat top, and the foam brush that comes with that kit is absolutely garbage. It fell off, and I was able to glob enough on there <laughs> but I'm gonna I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope that this buffing process ends up 
making this acceptable as well and then I am done and it will not look perfect but it will look good from far away and or you know a few feet away driving along and it should stop rust and it was like $20 so kind of hard to beat that I guess unless unless this is your weekend drive for fun and you know I know how that goes too but it's just a truck so it look, it, it'll look good enough after this dries I'll buff this out and we'll see what's up okay so I have done paint with a brush lots of the Meguiar's rubbing compound I've done clear coat then follow the clear coat with more buffing and that's basically what you end up with here I also ran I must have ran over a tree or something and in the wheel bottom of the wheel well here scratched it up pretty good so since I'm already doing this I put some clear on there to buff it and seal it to cover those scratches and then buffed it out yep you got to understand what your goal is before you do anything with these pens. You can see here though, where is it here? Right there. About that big. There are three scratches there and it goes all the way to here. Here to here. But, and now my fingerprints made it look worse, you know, worse than anything. You get back like this here. It's clearly, clearly better. And I, I could have done a better job. I could have spent more time. I could have wet sanded it too, but that's, that's a dangerous game. The, the buffing, I just went straight to the buffing. The buffing seemed to work quite well. I could go back to it later and do more, but my hands got that rubbing compound on it. So if I wipe my fingerprints off here, man, that's, that's not too bad. If you look at it, if you look at it just right, you can see it. But if you're not paying attention, it's hard to even tell. And I mean, what more can you ask for here? I'm pretty pleased for $20. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with the way it turned out. I think it looks a lot better, especially for that kind of money.